So I've gotten a few questions about what is an actual tenant. We've used this term in combination with Power BI um, and predominantly with Office 365. So when we talk about what a tenant is, um, the tenant in my mind is kind of like uh, an apartment. Um, so if you think about an apartment at an apartment complex, the apartment complex is more about uh, it's the foundation, it's the stairs, it's the underlying plumbing uh, for the whole complex. That's what I think of when I think of like Office 365. And then the tenant is the apartment within the complex. And so that tenant is specific for a given organization. Uh, so I will I'll use Microsoft as the example. So Microsoft.com is a tenant for the Microsoft organization. And when you go to create a new tenant, you will have uh, an opportunity to give it a name. And by default, we will use uh, the onMicrosoft.com uh, parent domain for that tenant. Um, we actually set up two different uh, DNS items. One is on onMicrosoft.com, the other one's on SharePoint.com. And whatever name you give for your tenant will be affixed to that. So in this case, for the tenant that I'm on right now, uh, I can go to domains and we can see what's actually there. And we'll see saxtonfy15.onmicrosoft.com. So my tenant name is saxtonfy15. My logins will be whatever my username is at saxtonfy15.onmicrosoft.com. So you can uh, create a tenant. The tenant name has to be unique within all of O365. And uh, this is effectively your organization, your tenant. Um, and that tenant will hold whatever subscriptions that you own um, as part of that tenant. So the tenant itself is just a container. Um, the, you don't pay for the tenant. It's just it holds the accounts. There, there's no cost to that. There's no license. There's a subscription for that. The licenses come in play, and what you pay for are the subscriptions that you uh, that you take on as part of that tenant. Uh, so that could be uh, SharePoint Online, it could be Exchange, it could be uh, Power BI, it could be whatever. Um, and so if we go into billing and look at the subscriptions that I have for this tenant, um, we'll see that I have two here. So I've got the Office 365 Enterprise E3 trial. And I've also got the Power BI for Office 365 trial. So I've got two subscriptions that are here. They're both trials, so I'm not paying for those. Um, but those are part of this tenant. And then I have users that are specific to this tenant as well. Um, and this is my organization, so I can't really see or mess with anything outside of this tenant. So within SharePoint Online, if I go and do things, it's in the context of the tenant and whatever users are created within that tenant. Um, and that's, uh, it's, it's like a little sandbox for, for me to use uh, for my organization.